Hello and welcome to the Knowledge Seat. I'm the Tech Curator and this video is going to go over Red Hat's new exam objective, Flatpak. In the earlier days of Linux, we used yum to install packages. Later on with Rail 8 and Rail 9, we switched over to using DNF install. So you see some examples at the bottom where you could do yum install git or DNF install Firefox. Now, before the switch with Rail 8 and Rail 9, we used yum install. And I had a little bit of experience using yum, uh, which is the yellow dog updater modified. And I did go through the dependency chaos issues with yum. However, I will say with DNF, I don't think that really disappeared. Now with DNF being the successor, I did notice some improvements um, however Python was consistently an issue um, if you have the wrong version so this was an improvement uh, but it still has a lot of issues and if you work with DNF and managing packages and having missing dependencies you will know that DNF was an improvement but not that great of an improvement all right so the biggest issues with DNF and yum are the fact that packages are tied tightly to the host system. AKA, if you're running on Fedora and you're trying to share your program to someone who's running on Ubuntu, you can guarantee it's most likely not going to work. And this is where Flatpak comes in and changes things. And to understand this change, let's work through this analogy. Imagine your Linux system is a Nintendo Switch. Flatpak apps are game cartridges. Each cartridge has everything it needs to play. No need to check whether your console already has the right expansion packs. If you want a new game, you plug in the cartridge and it just works. In other words, this gets rid of the problem of it worked on my system. Now you'll be able to have an application work on Fedora, Rail, or Ubuntu. However, generally speaking, Flatpak packages are tied to graphical user interfaces. So creating this lab, working within the command line was a little bit difficult. So I had to do this within the console um, so that I could run Mozilla Firefox. Now I'm working within my Proxmox virtual environment 8.4.1. And my first objective is to elevate my privileges and become root. So after I type in my password, you can see by the pound sign that I am root. And the next thing I need to do is install the actual package flat pack. And I'm using hyphen Y to go ahead and accept the uh, question whether or not I want to install it if it's not installed. All right. So now that I can see that it's already installed, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and add flat pack repositories and the repository that I'm going to add if it doesn't exist, is going to be Flatpak repository, uh, Red Hat's official repository from Flatpak. After that, I can list the repositories that I have available by doing Flatpak remotes. And then the next thing I needed to do, like I said, was install a application that would work for my system, which was Firefox running inside of um, uh, the console. So I had to search for Firefox and get the application ID. And once I install the application uh, using uh, Flatpak install and then the application ID, which is going to be org.mozilla Firefox. And then I'm going to do a, another hyphen Y so that I can just go ahead and install. And here's the issue where I had here. I selected three. Do not select three because that's selecting rail and they also had dependency issues. Voila. So it doesn't seem like the issue is completely gone. So I had an idea. Let me try this again. And instead of using rails or Red Hat's uh, repository, let me use uh, Flathub's repository. So uh, with that being done, it worked pretty well all right so the next thing to do that made common sense was to list the available packages so i did flat pack list and you do hyphen a tab tab and it's going to show you the options that you have available 
and you just do hyphen hyphen app and that shows you the two applications that uh, I have downloaded on the system from the Flatpak repos. And once I um, see the application that I want, I can go ahead and run it by doing Flatpak run and then the application ID, which is going to be org Mozilla Firefox. And when I press enter, it brought up Mozilla Firefox. So with that working perfectly fine, now we can go ahead and finish the lab by deleting Mozilla. So I clear my terminal and I do flat pack, uninstall, and the application ID, which is gonna be org.mozilla firefox, right? And you have to get the exact application ID. All right, and once it's deleted, um, you could go ahead and pat yourself on the back and call this lab complete. I appreciate you all for tuning in to this uh, little um, exercise of mine. Um, it's always good practice for me, and I hope it's good practice for you. You all have a great day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.